What's up, my friends? Throne of Eldrain, early access event. This is deck number seven. Deck number seven of ten. Every new format. I brew ten new decks for the early access event where Wizards of a Coast kindly, hashtag sponsored, allows a bunch of streamers to play with the cards a few days early. And it's awesome. It's awesome. And uh, this is deck number seven, as I said. All the glitters, the white payoff. Yeah, that card's not that good, though, I don't think. So, we're playing Knights. Obviously, Knights is the new vampires, basically. It is the tribal theme. It is supported. And um, there are some Knight cards, I think, that are being overlooked. Now, obviously, Knight of Ebon Legion's great. Uh, Corpse Knight, actually pretty good. Sneaky little plant, you know. Murderous Rider, one of the best cards in the set, for sure. Um, but, you know, Worthy Knight's good. Better when it's good. A claim can intender is really good. This is Militia Bugler on steroids, but I think the really sneaky card for the night deck is this card right here, Smitten Swordmaster. I think this card has gone completely overlooked. I am expecting this to be one of the better cards in our deck, especially in conjunction with uh, Order of Midnight, which is also good. I expect the fireballs and people out for pretty significant amounts of damage. Um, you evoke it, you play it, you trade it, get it back with the order, evoke it again. Seems sweet. Seems sweet. Um, so, all we have here is a deck that's kind of similar to Vampires. No nut draw. There's no Soren in this deck, obviously. But we have two great, two pairs of two sets of great one drops. A bunch of good twos. Uh, Worthy Knight can make some make some go wide stuff. They're not they're not knights, but it's still fine. Um, Corpse Knight's really cool. Obviously plays well with Worthy Knight. I think that Wintermore Commander is also really good. Um, Death Touch on a high toughness creature is awesome. And it's very hard to block. And then this makes your other creatures able to attack as well. I think this card's great. I think it's one of the better... Uh, I think this card's possibly better than the the, than the, uh, the Lord is. The, the basic, like, 2-2 two, two for 2 Lord in red-white. Um, Reaper's good, but Contender's our big card advantage card. We're also playing one copy of Circle of Loyalty. Basically, just a glorious anthem. And then it can uh, pump out 3-3s, three which is cool. We have no other, no other legendary spells in our deck, but... It's possible Icon of Ancestry is better, but I figured that if Icon costs three, and it's three mana to possibly draw a knight, this costs three, possibly two, and it's four mana to just make a three three, which is pretty good. So um, that's what we got. Uh, Tournament Grounds also helps out with our mana because without a uh, check lands, things are tough. Just two tap lands. Want to curve out four godless shrines. Um, I built Rakdos and Orzov knights. I think the mana in Mardu Knights is probably way too bad if you don't draw tournament grounds. Uh, the mana in the new format is significantly worse than it was, and your aggro deck cannot afford to stumble in the early game. You must be must be able to curve out. So that's why we're staying two colors here. And uh, we also have a Rakdos Knight deck we'll play a little bit later also. Also, also. I keep saying also, also. Did you notice that? Also. Um, and yeah, let's go. Orzhov Knights. Remember, folks, cool stuff, Inc. Promo code only good during this event ELD 10 10% off your, your Throne of Eldraine singles you can use promo code JIM5 the rest of the time on coolstuffinc.com alright um, yeah I mean the sand is basically what we're looking for um I don't like playing tap lands and aggro I agree but we also have a lot of two drops in our deck you just gotta be aware of your curve you know if you go one drop two drop two drop tap land and then two drop, two drop on turn four. It's usually fine. Usually fine. Corpse Knight's a cute one. Definitely a lot of cute plants in M20. I feel like we've, we've played a lot of M20 cards for the first time in this stream. I like Dread Presence, Corpse Knight, Steel Overseer, uh, that weren't good previously and now they're good. Okay, the Flyer deck, this could be pretty tough. Yeah, like, for example, we're going to go turn two knight, turn three knight, tap land, which is pretty good. And hope we can race the uh, their flyer draw here. Ooh, what is this? Oh, they're just, they're just fairies. Creatures entering the battlefield don't cause, or dying, don't cause abilities to trigger. What's up, bud? Bedtime? Yeah. Check out John's cool dinosaur pajamas. Awesome. High five. And Deb. And Deb. 
Dab. There's a zippy sleeping. I know, he's sleeping. He's in bed. You should be too. Dab. Whoosh. All right, bedtime. Can you click the cat? Click the cat? No, it's sleeping. It doesn't do, it doesn't do anything. Um, all right, so we're going to... Whose cat is it? It's their cat. So this this sucks. Uh, this thing isn't doing it. Get a cat. I don't want a cat. A cat. A cat would try and eat Zibby. I guess we're playing the. Yeah, don't 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 tell Zibby. He's sleeping. He can't hear us. Don't worry about it. I guess we're playing this thing. Just saying go. Really, really frustrating that our corpse nice are, are bears now. All right, good night, bud. I'll see you in the morning, right? Yeah, that's that's my beard. Yeah, mini beard. Mini beard. All right, bud. Good night, bud. Yes, good night, bud. Stop milking the scream time. Go to bed. Alright, these weird main deck hate fairies are, uh, are being very annoying. I, I guess we're just corpse knighting. I guess we're going to attack first. Um, yeah, just attack. Turns out, there's the Reaper off, too. This card is just like a hate card, I guess, our deck. It's actually pretty sick. Like, it's like playing a main deck to Kali Honor Guard against humans. Like, it makes most of our cards, like, it, it stops, uh, it stops coming to play and death triggers. So... I mean, I, I guess we're just reapering. Now we're like a little off curve. Maybe I should just bared. I want to go. I want to get the damage in with the knight because I, I was threatening a pump. Maybe I should just bear to put a tap land. Yeah, the art is obviously very weird. Can I help you? Why does everyone want to see Zibby? He's sleeping, all right? See? Look, he's sleeping. Everyone wants more Zibby emotes. I know. Can we delete one of your emotes and make a Zibby emote? We have room for like 10 more emotes. We have a thousand subs now. We're big time, all right? Well, this is my big time stream where really? John wanders in and doesn't go to bed. Nicole comes in to bother me. Yeah. My hamster's sleeping. We're just, we're just pro big time stream here. Was, it's the weird art, the lip art thing. I was, like, at least, at least the sugar's on cast. Yeah, this thing just turns off our entire deck. Just like, oh, uh, Corpse Knight doesn't work. Uh, Reaper doesn't work. Sorry. Thanks for okay, playing. What is, what is, oh, Reaper is It's like a Takali Honor Guard that stops, die, that stops death triggers also. Alright, um, I don't know what they're doing, honestly. What was that called? Hushwing Griff or whatever, right? Uh, I believe it's a similar effect, yeah. It was like, the, that was the one that just was like ending the battlefield, though. I don't think it was dying. Yeah, usually it's usually it's just, it's just like it just comes into play. It's not dying. We can smitten, uh, smitten, smitten here. Get a counter my oh, get a counter my stuff. Sure. All right. So Temple of Silence. Most professional streamer, ever. Ever. It's true. It's true. It is true. How about a four? Um, We're talking about Zippy, right? Lightning helix. Lightning helix. Oh my god. Zibby or Riot? Zibby's famous. Zibby's famous. Icon's in your face. Ooh. Icon's really good. This is a really good magic card. It is a good magic card. Oh my god! Lightning Helix! You're getting life here too? This is... This is something. Um, I'm really angry my Corpse Knights don't do anything. <laughs> like... Uh, Alright. We're gonna make... We're gonna play a creature to make our toughness better, and then we're gonna attack. And we'll give the Midnight Reaper Instructability. This card is good. And then I guess we're just playing Corpse Knight. We are like, I mean, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're dead in two turns. I guess we're gaining a little life off this thing later, but. 
This is, uh, somewhat precarious. I believe another icon would kill us. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep, that would kill us. Is the Oh My God Lightning Healers referencing something? Yes, the greatest top deck in the history of Magic. I was there. It was my first Pro Tour. I watched it live in the spectator area. All of the French players were very, very angry because the English player top decked the French player, uh, Oliver Ruel, and Craig Jones. Look it up. That's what you should watch on YouTube for sure. Yep, that was my first Pro Tour. Okay. Um, so we're going to gain a few points of life here. I would love to draw another one of these. Yeah, you can post a link. What a weird game. They just like play this main deck hate card and they're just beating us with it. Watch it on stream. I can't watch it on stream during the, the gameplay. We're, we're recording a YouTube video right now. YouTube will flag me. That's a, that's a... It's got flash. Alright. We are probably dead. Really, really unfortunate that this Hushbringer is just like... A main deck cyborg card, I guess. With its 1991 R&B album, album art cover. A Venerable Knight. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're dead. Uh, we smashed everything. If they have to block the Knight, probably put the 2-3 on a 2-2. Take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's probably it. The stats are playable. I don't think a 1-2 flying lifelink creature is a playable magic card. Uh, Alright, we'll make the... I guess the sword whatever person indestructible. Doesn't actually matter. It's kind of a frustrating match, honestly. Like, we, we would have crushed them if our cards worked, you know? But they didn't work, and we didn't crush them, so we're dead. We're going to go to gain some life. Yep. All right. Kind of stinky. Kind of stinky. Oh, and one. Black, white, uh, not vampires. Black, white knights. Main deck Hushbringer. We don't have that much removal in our deck. You know, we have, uh, what do we have? It's a couple of disfigures and, uh, the two of the heroes downfalls. Yep. So we have five ways to kill it, but... I mean, a one-two lifelink flyer is like, like, that is significantly worse than Healer's Hawk, and Healer's Hawk is playable only under specific scenarios. Couldn't I have pumped to heal over the damage they had next turn? What? How'd that heal damage? Lightning healing, oh my god! Strong sad again. It's our third match against Todd Anderson. Roll Todd. Uh, yeah. This hand plays. No one drop's a little awkward, but hopefully our Corpse Knight does something. <laughs> Pal Collector. Oh, yeah. Which figure? We already played Mono Black. It was, it was actually very good. Venerable Knight, right on time. You're barking up the wrong tree, my friend. Alright, um... I think, uh... I don't think we want a murderous rider, this, uh, this Bark Hide Troll. Let's build my board. Let's just play Midnight Reburn. Deal damage, they go. Yes, if you enjoy the overlay, it is uh, courtesy of CardboardLive.com, the future in technology for uh, Magic the Gathering Online. Uh, it was more mid rangey Ross. I can show it to you all after the uh, after this match. Uh, four Dread Presence, um, kind of like a kind of tokeny theme, but like a, a bigger end too. It's definitely definitely pretty mid rangey. Um, all right, this thing pluses vigilance and reach. Alright, I mean... Let me just kill the troll and kill the thing, right? Like... Oh, 
Uh, Todd's been pretty quick to scoop so far today. Sure. Um, Ayara was very good. Uh, very good. The card that really impressed in the mono black deck was Dread Horde. Here, I'll show, I'll show you real fast. Not supposed to show this to you, but still, but you go see the article. But uh, the Dread Horde invasions were very good. Clockwork Servant was very good. Fen Lurker was very good. Um, just a lot of like, just a lot of grindy card advantage. Just like everything was a two for one. Fen Lurker two for one. Clockwork Servant two for one. Rankle two for one. You know, Dread Presence two for one. Like just real, real good. Super cool. All right, so we are uh, two or one and one with our vampire deck. And uh, as we were saying earlier, giveaways for each win. So uh, type in uh, stuff. Very different. What do your mono black list look like? Were they more more aggressive for us? I think Dread Presence was very good. Rankle's weird. It's a weird card. Uh, sand plays. Order, sure. Yeah, we gotta restart Arena pretty soon. Overgrown Tomb. Incubation Druid. That's awkward. I, sh I drew the land anyway. I'm pretty sure we want to just uh, disfigure... Maybe not. Maybe just Corpse Knight. We, we can go two drop this figure next turn, so. Spawn of Mayhem is a pretty good card. You think? Whoa, doggy. Uh, Alright, sure. That's interesting. Um, Alright, let's just play uh, Midnight Reaper and make some trades really good for us. Yeah, um, I didn't want to play Gutter Bones. And I don't think Lod's Top Reaver is good alongside Invasion. Um, I don't think you want too much of that effect. I'm not sure, though. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think we'll do that in a more mid rangey fashion, so... Like, I was looking to maximize the Dread Presence. That's kind of annoying. I mean, whatever, draw a card. So, put a counter here, draw a card. Midnight Reaper doing work. Worthy Knight about to do some work. Um, this thing, would I trade Reaper for Wolf? I think I would. I could disfigure the Druid. I kind of want to just play two Worthy Knights. That is pretty good. I mean, Dread Breath was pretty good, honestly. Like, the deck just draws so many cards with all your value creatures. Were you playing the 2-3 artifact creature? Because that card was really good. Hmm. Maybe just double Worthy Knight. I would trade Reaper here, I think. I'm going to attack. Yeah, 2-3 is really good. Like... Remember the card Phyrexian Rager? That was like a standard staple? Yeah, it's a little bit better than that. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Alright, so... Yeah, we're pretty uh, pretty up on cards here, if I do say so myself. Alright, well, they're not doing much. Pretty sketchy here. Uh, they definitely have the, uh, the Flash Wolf. Um, it's like super obvious, so let's not play into it. I don't mind returning Corpse Knight and just casting it and getting that ball rolling. Um, and then we'll disfigure the Incubation Druid after they cast their Flash thing, which we're not going to attack because it's just so obvious. Let's go on an adventure. Well, the thing is that the presence also finishes the game, too. Like, you know, you can just helix them a few times. Rankle does that, too. I'm, I'm not sure, honestly, you know. The deck seemed good, so. Alright, uh, pay two. Corpse Knight. 
Make some tokens. That is on cast, that's true. Whatever. Move to combat, no attacks. Your turn. You cast the thingy. I just figure this thing. No, I agree. I think mono black was there's a lot of good options. The thing is that there's a lot of good cards. What I was saying earlier was that there's a lot of really interesting cards in the new set that prop up cards from M20. Uh, we we're playing, we've been playing a lot of M20 cards in this stream. Like, a lot. Alright, so... I'm making a wolf. Uh, I think we just play all our stuff and basically just kill them. Like... We only have three black, which is annoying, but... Uh, we're pretty close to dead. I mean, the Worthy Knight Corpse Knight synergy is, uh... Is not bad. Yeah, sure. This deck seems good. Yeah, I think that, that Spawn of Mayhem is also really good. So, right, this deck has been just been pretty good. We're just, we're just clowning people. We're th two and one, right? Three and one, two and one, three and one. I think it's two and one, three and one, two and one, two and one, two and one. BCWsupplies.com. Hey Ross. What's your favorite sleeve? What sleeve do you use? The crowd wants to know. Katana? Ross, you're off the team. <laughs> I'm not even on the team anymore, but I know you're off the team. <laughs> BCW Supply is the Elite 2 deck guards. Best sleeves in the market. Um, katanas are like $16 a pack, and they're stupid. Like I think I think quality wise they're not they're not even as good as the BCWs are. You can get the BCWs for like eight eight bucks a pack. You buy them in bulk. You buy a, a five pack on the website. Get get a discount. You can use my discount. Get them for like six bucks a pack. So save some money. Buy some sleeves. BCWsupplies.com. Promo code Jim10. Yeah, it's actually insane how much cheaper the BCWs are. Cheaper in price, not in quality, obviously. Health collector. All right. Nice taplin. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. Do I want that? I don't think so. <sighs> Next turn's a worthy knight. We gotta kill his pell collector, though. Uh, so we kill pell collector, we're playing off curve. And then we're worthy knight. Actually, I do, I do want this, actually. Mulberry, mat front. Elite twos. I like the mat fronts. Pell collector. Alright. A lot of one one pell collectors, I'm not gonna lie. So now it's unlikely they're gonna they're gonna evolve twice. So I don't mind playing Wintermore Commander. I'm sorry, Worthy Knight. I lied. I lied to you, I'm sorry. Sure. I might actually just kill that. So, Wintermore plus Disfigure. Yeah. No Mardu here. We are straight straight Orzhov. The, Mar the mana's too bad for Mardu. Witch Figure? Disfigure. Next turn we have Knight plus Acclaim Contender. This card's so good. Alright. What's your big payoff here? It's turn four. You have four forests in play. And they look pretty cool. The new art for the lands is pretty awesome. Mystic Fart has followed. If you haven't followed the stream at that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, you should follow. There's Zibby. Zibby alert. There he is. Look at his butt tufts. He's a good Zibby. Nullhide Ferox. That's pretty big. Doesn't have trample. Um, I think this is fine. You could trade a Wintermore Commander. But it's fine actually. I just trade. It's not a jump, it's a trade. It's got a death touch. This card's really good. Alright, uh. Acclaimed contender, please. But I see you not the other. Uh. Yeah, 
I think we're worthy knighting. Reaper's good, but I think we're a little uh, behind the eight ball here, so. All right, you can say, we can say go. I mean, Null Hide's not getting through, obviously. You got a million, a million poor citizens to be thrown in the un under the bus. Robo, thanks for watching, my friend. Appreciate it. Have a good night. I mean, this feels like a really easy block. Uh, all right. Yeah, that that uh, that's yeah, sure. I think that our worthy knight beats their their guardian. They should have adapted while we were tapped out too. I think that's a much safer thing to do. But sure, sure, I'm not them. Yeah, I killed the, the pelt collector because I just trample. And the, the null hide's never getting through ever. It's just like worthless basically, so. Alright, make some uh some tokens. This card's so good. Oh look, five hits. Um Do I wanna get the Corpse Knight going or do I want Midnight Reaper? Both very good options. Um, I guess Corpse Knight. S the strongest of sads. Todd, thank you for the host, my friend. If you haven't seen Todd's stream, Todd Anderson, good, good dude. I like Todd a lot. And uh, he recently moved to the West Coast. He's streaming a lot more, which I'm very happy to see. And uh, if you haven't followed his stream, go follow it. Versus Live, great Magic player, good dude. Check him out. Strong sad. Uh, and we're going to just say no attacks, and say go. We'll see if uh, an entire town's worth of citizens can beat the uh, the Null Hive Varox. Uh, we have one circle of loyalty. Um, I think that card's kind of clunky, but I wanted to try one and see how it was. But I think it's better than uh, than Icon of Ancestry in this list because it's formatted to make a 3-3, three, three. Or it's three mana to draw a card. So, yeah, I don't think that they're uh, they're ever gonna beat my uh, my stuff here. Let's um, Temple of Silence. Oh yeah, I like that one. I think this card's great. Smitten Swordmaster. That's a magic card. That is a magic card. We can attack with Knight of Ebon Legion if we want to. Um, it is a 4-5 with Death Touch, which is pretty good. And then I think we sent all the tokens in, too. Nah, they're going to eat three of them, only take two. Nah, that's fine. We, 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 we can wait. This card's really good. Very, very sneaky, sneaky good card. You know, when you see the uh, the new knights, you look at the rares and the mythics and stuff like that. But this is this is the card. I think this card's great. All right, yeah, pop it up. Tokens are not knights, correct. I think this card would be busted if it made knights. Um, it would just be self-perpetuating, basically. Uh, but it's still very good, obviously. Thanks, Todd. I appreciate it. Todd, are you going to uh, TwitchCon? I don't know where in California you are. It's in it's in San Diego. It's uh it's it's this this coming weekend. Yeah, we're, me, Nicole and I leave tomorrow, so we should definitely get definitely get together if you're, if you're gonna be there. You need a ticket? You do. Um, your partner might be too late. Uh, I look online, but honestly, if Todd, if you're serious about streaming, you should pay whatever a ticket costs and just get in the building. Literally, everyone's gonna be there. Who's anyone who's anyone on the stream who comes to streaming will be there. <laughs> like seriously, like I, I I signed up for our workshop on Friday. Um, I have a meet and greet on Sunday. Um, it's all the magic folks gonna be there. I think it's a really really good thing. So either way, even if you're not going to be go to TwitchCon, we can go to uh, get dinner or something. Actually, Nicole and I are going to the Padres game on Thursday. If you want to go, it's like a noon game. If you and Callie want to go, I don't know if Callie's working or not. Um, yeah, we're just chilling here. I mean, we're just gonna fire off the. I can just hold this honestly. I'm not gonna kill my stuff. I'm just gonna play this tap and say go. It's a drain for four right now. Just wait. Yeah, I don't think the uh, 
random mess of 4-4s four is doing very much. Yeah, Nicole and I are pumped for TwitchCon. Is anyone in chat going to TwitchCon? Where's your hand in chat if you're going to TwitchCon? TwitchCon! Alright, so... Stone Coil Serpent. Alright, so they have a 5-6, whatever. Yeah, what up, skis? And they're attacking. They're getting frisky. Uh... And, uh, I guess we'll block, and then we'll chump the last one, I guess. Not thrilled to throw to throw a knight away, but it's fun. Questing beast, uh, yeah, I mean, that would be pretty good, sure. Oh, boy. All right. Let's give him the adventures. I think it's about time for another adventure. Now you deal five, and deal two more. And are they dead? Third four. Tied with everything, they block this, and they're dead. It's exactly it's exactly lethal. I'm telling you folks, Smitten Swordmaster is the truth. Alright? The truth. Three and one. Three and one. Our only match loss was or game loss was to a deck playing main deck to Kali Honor Guard, basically. Yes, Corpse Knight and the Hero of Precincts 1, very, very good. Not exactly bacon, then what is it? Then what is it? What if I see and not have the other? Turkey bacon? Uh, I'm not about turkey bacon. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep... We definitely want to draw land, but... Type in duel for the next giveaway in chat. We giving stuff away. We're like seven hours into the stream. Do you folks know I've streamed for 22 days in a row? Because I did a stream the day before September started. 22 days in a row. It's actually unreal. I guess I am very busy outside of streaming, too. I mean, I have a kid, obviously, and Nicole's working a lot, and there's a lot of stuff to do around the house, and so on and so forth. So, but it's in, it's insane. I don't know how people do it. I'm ready to I'm ready to give up. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's been a very busy two weeks. It's been, it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I look forward to streaming more going forward. Um... And here we hit all our goals. I just had the best community. You know? You guys are just insane. Thousand subs. We got a hamster. 24 hour stream. Going to TwitchCon. Life's good, you know? Life's good. Right, Zibby? <laughs> I gotta get a better camera. So you can see him better. He's just like the funniest. He just sleeps constantly. No, nah, we're still working on the house thing. Still working on the house thing. We're getting there. I look forward to having that done. That'll make things a lot easier for me <laughs> when we're in our own place and everything's all set. Alright, I mean, this is like... Oh, they have Flame Sweep. That would suck. No. Fairy Vandal? And they have Opt? No. That, that's not how that works. Whenever you draw your second card, that's your first card, my friend. They're going to scoop right now. Concession in three, two, one. Lightning Helix, oh my god! Difference in a hamster and a gerbil. Um, gerbils would actually survive in the wild. Hamsters would not. 
Zibby would die in five minutes if he was in the wild. All he does is sleep. He's slow. He's dumb. <laughs> but it makes him a great pet. Uh, gerbils are much quicker and uh, smarter. But Zibby is just awesome. He is he is so cool. He's one of the, we've had him for like a few a few months now. And he's one of the best pets I've ever had. He's just so awesome. All right, um, there are four. So we can put them to two, or we can cast this Smitten Swordmaster. Um, they can bolt one thing next turn. Did I top? What am I doing? Oh, I, I'm not even thinking. Um, I guess next turn we can go Knight, Knight, Swordmaster. We're going to cast this Swordmaster. The adventure cards are so good. Like, however much you are rating the adventure cards, I guarantee you they're like two steps better than you think they are. Every single one. How about Boulder Boy with the, the Giant Shock? That card's insane. One of the best cards in the set. Yeah, just straight card advantage. Shock? Sure. I mean, they are pretty freaking dead. Mono green? Mono green what? The Wish Fairy any good? I don't know. Sure. Thrill of possibility. Alright. Too bad that you are dead. You are dead. I hate to tell you, but you are dead. This card is so good. Yep, yeah, well, you, uh... You are... You can, you are not, not alive anymore. Lightning Helix, oh my god! Smitten Swordmaster is the bomb. You forget your rares, forget your mythic rares, take them all home, because Smitten Swordmaster is the reason to play your uh, your knight deck. I know it only did two, I was just trying to riff a little bit, alright? Come on. Come on. Alright. 4-1. And the only loss was to a deck playing a main deck hate card. Castles uh, will come and tap too often, I think. So yeah, this deck's dope. Honestly. If you're looking for a good, simple aggro deck for the new format and be your Vampires player, here it is. Real easy. I haven't played Legacy in a long time. There's no reason to. Honestly, it doesn't even look fun anymore. Uh, but yeah, super sweet deck. We're playing more Smitten Swordmasters later in a Rakdos build. So, look for more of that. But uh, YouTube folks... That's deck number seven. There's th three decks left. Go watch other videos, all right? Make sure you subscribe, like, and do a lot of cool stuff. YouTube folks, I love you.